This lorehound.com video is brought to you by... Number one, read the line. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. That's not him. Okay. Number two, read the line. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. Absolutely not. Okay. Number three. You will behold the glory of my sacred wood. That's him. Every year, one in five gamers is accosted by an elf. We're tired of elves. What's up, Lorehounds? We're with Todd from Sony Online Entertainment, the San Diego branch, I believe. Uh, he's the producer on Clone Wars, the new Star Wars, or upcoming Star Wars free-to-play game. So, what you know, it's based on the Clone Wars show, right. and you're going after um, that market, which is, is generally the, the younger, like the tween and plus. Yeah, um, our target audience is uh, boys 8 to 12. Yeah, okay. And I was playing it before, and the, the, it's very minigame based. There's not really any quests or anything like that. So it's more of like a, a jump in and play MMO. Um, we call it a virtual world. Sorry, we call it a virtual oh, world. Okay. We, we're not even allowed to use MMO. Damn, we can't cover for the site then. We can. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's check out uh, some of the games here. That, sure. And this is basically how you do everything. This is how you earn uh, money. And and is there like reputation thing? Like if you, you know, there's leaderboards, I assume, for the... Yeah, there'll be leaderboards. This, uh, the map that I just brought up is how you launch all the mini games. Uh, there's multiple stages for each game. We're loading up Starfighter right here, and uh, you'll earn galactic credits every time you play a game. Now, depending on your score, if you've completed it before, other factors like that will depend on how many credits you get. But yeah, everything is all about earning credits, just playing, keeping leaderboards, challenging your friend to games. Uh, some of them are multiplayer. Some of them are single player. This is one of the single player games. But we also have uh, speeder bike racing, lightsaber dueling, and a few other games that are multiplayer. So it's uh, it's really a simple, quick access, short gameplay. So just jump in and, and have some fun for 15 minutes to 10 hours. That's right. Jump in and you can play for five minutes. Hard for me to talk and play at center. But yeah, you can jump in for five minutes, really, and feel like you've had a good gameplay session. So it's, it's free to play, so it's not like you have to to feel that you're uh, you know playing X hours to get your money's worth or something like that. Is, is that like part of the reason why you guys keep it you know keep a lot of the mini games short and simple? Well, no, we really we're keeping the game short and simple because we want to have kids not feel like they need to log in for a half an hour and join a group, you know, go find the raid dungeon and get in the dungeon. You know, we just don't we don't want them to have that experience. We want them to get in and have fun right away and feel like they've gotten some of it if they have to, you know, go do your homework or make dinner or whatever it is that to reward for getting an A, guys. Yeah. You know, but it's gonna be. I think there's gonna be some adults playing this game too. Because oh, I'm sure. I mean, I was playing the. Uh, there's the shooting one, the 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 light gun, uh, the, uh, yeah, the laser gun. Yeah, and I mean, it was getting difficult. Like we we have some of the footage, and I I mean the the beginning, the first few levels, it was like all headshots, and then they started moving. They put up the blocks, and there was a lot more uh, friendly guys in the way and stuff like that. So there's definitely it's kind of like an arcanoid here. Yeah, this is called droid programming, and I just want to show you the the variation of games that we have, right? So our Starfighter is is a rather uh, more complex game. It's 3D. There's a lot of you know player skill in maneuvering the ship around, targeting, hitting the objects. And this one is fun, uh, but it's just very simple. It's like a match three game. And all you're trying to do is you're just you're programming all these little blocks or your R2D2 on the bottom, and you're just trying to program and and clear clear the screen. And that's it. The stuff just keeps coming down. It keeps so you coming down. And each stage we have multiple stages for all our mini games. This stage gets more complicated as it goes on, right? There's uh, little blocks you can see over here and there, and they add diversity to the game. and Power-ups and power-downs. Power-ups. Uh, they create viruses sometimes, and it blocks you from doing things. And So it's just, it's this is as dramatic as it gets from our games. And then we have a lot of in-between. So I just want to show you real quick what this game looked like. Um, every game, though, like I mentioned before, is going to have a stage selection. So we have a lot of stages in this one. Now, when you are talking before about free-to-play, we're also driving a membership as well. So some of the content will be available to free players. Some of it will be available to only those who have a membership. So kind of the Is membership like a su subscription. Exactly. Membership will be a monthly subscription. Do we know about how much it'll be? It'll be about the same as Free Realms. Okay. You're familiar with that? I'm yes. Not, yes. I'm not actually allowed to tell you exactly what it is because we haven't ironed out the final details uh, with the Lucas folks. But we're looking, you know, in the single-digit numbers for sure. So how many uh, of the mini games are we going to have? 
Because we, I mean, we see you have the map here. We have the map here. There's, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 up there. There's about 15. Our goal is to have about 20 when we launch. And again, we've got some 3D deep ones and some 2D flash ones, but they all should have a, uh, a stage selection like this. Okay. And the stage selection, not only is it a progression to show you, you know, how you're advancing, but there's replayability in that each stage will have challenge modes. So once you've cleared it in the normal level, well, then you go back and you play um, like the hard mode? Yeah, you play, hey, there's twice as many hit points on things, or there's twice as many ships, or now you only have one type of weapon to use instead of two, that type of thing that really makes it up a little. And then the other, the other cool factor is obviously leaderboards. You're going to be able to send messages to your friends, post your score to your leaderboard, post it to your friend's wall. That type of stuff to really there's some social interact, social networking type stuff as well. Yeah, definitely. What do we have for character customization? I'll get to that in just a second. I want to show you one more game because character customization is uh, one of our big points as well. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm playing our lightsaber dueling game. Um, and is this actually PvP? Like we could be playing another player? We could be. Right now, we're playing against a machine, but this is one of the multiplayer games. Uh, and in fact, I think this is going to be one of the more popular multiplayer games. Uh, and you see the mechanic is something we're all similar to. I'm just hitting the arrow keys in the order that they appear. Uh, Obi-Wan's pretty tough, so he's kicking my butt. And it's, so it's kind of like a game assignment. You have to hit him in a certain time frame and in the correct orientation. You just have to hit him in the, in the correct order before the, player, the other player you're playing does, or in this case, the NPC does. And then it's just some cool animations in the meantime. I'm going to stop trying because Obi-Wan's just kicking my butt. <laughs> Um, it is Obi-Wan. It is Obi-Wan. And even though I look like Anakin, I'm not. Uh, but that kind of leads into the question you were just asking about customization. So every mini game you play, you're going to earn galactic credits. And with those galactic credits, as a member, you'll be able to customize your character. And we're really, we've got, we've worked really well with Lucas, and we've got a lot of license to really do anything in the game, as long as it's seen somewhere in the series or in the movies. But we're also able to combine things. So right now I have the outfit of Anakin, but there's nothing wrong with me uh, putting on a little bit of Boba Fett gear and yet still walking around with my lightsaber, right? So I can do that. I can also have a pet. Uh, so I want to bring. Yeah, we we saw earlier. We saw an ATAT. -AT. I'm an absolute yeah. sucker for in-game yeah. pets. It's ridiculous. But, you know, I mean, I can, I can do some kind of combinations here. I can, you know change up and I want to do a planetary gear and I want to you know put on this head and, and this row but yet keep everything else the same or it, we're just going to give the player a lot of flexibility. So it, you're not like holding them like they have to be all in the stormtrooper gear or all in the padawan. And you know anybody in the game you know, one of the things they did in the very first episode of the Clone Wars was Yoda talks to the clone troopers about how the force is with everyone. Everyone has a little bit of the force in them right so that's the idea here is whether you're Acting like you're a clone trooper or a Jedi or a bounty hunter or a, you know a, someone in politics, you know one of the galactic senators, you can wear whatever you want. You can wield a lightsaber or you can wield a gun and you can play any of the games. So it's fantastic. Yeah, it's and really it, your world. Yeah, and it, it looks like it's something that easily would be great for like families. You know, the dad to play with his kids or something like that, yeah. just to get them in these basic, you know, free fun games that. Yeah. They can all compete with, uh, you know, against each other. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and you saw some of the droids earlier. One of the other things that I wanted to show you real quick, I'll take you to this other, one of our other environments. This is the Jedi. I hallway. like, I like the load screen, like old school Star Wars. Oh yeah, <laughs> totally. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up a uh, attachment. To Look at the ATAT. -AT. Yeah. <laughs> now when I click on R2D2, he starts a little, uh, a little nice. dance festival for us here. Something all the other players around are going to be animated just like I am. And so it's one of the things, it's like, you're not really interfering with their gameplay, right. but you're kind of making everyone interact with you around. So it's, it's a lot of fun. The flaming fire loot from WoW right there. Uh, so when, when are we expecting it? Uh, September of this year. Awesome. Sounds fantastic. Can't wait. When, what about uh, open beta type stuff? We're going to have an open beta. We haven't worked out the plans. Probably in August. Oh. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you.